salmon recipe that I don't have to explain too much. It's very simple, it's a garnish. So it's not actually a plate, it's, it's a, a dish, it's, it's a garnish. But, um, but I fancy to show to all of you. So um, I hope that you enjoy it. Well, this very easy recipe, um, it's not gonna take us too long. Uh, I have some bell peppers. I have the different gold peppers, but you can use like just the green and, and the red or just the red. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put them like that in the oven on a, a 180 degrees approximately um, for about 40 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes, because the idea is to <laughs> roast them, okay? If you have an open fire, then you can put these peppers into the into the into the fire until they get completely black around. Don't worry about it until they get the skin gets completely black around, and then after that, the, it doesn't matter if you're doing it in the oven or you're doing it in an open fire. Then just put into into a suitable container with a lid on to make them to sweat. So through the cooling down process, they will be sweating, and then after that, we will peel them and then we will dress them. So now the peppers has been roasted in the oven for about 40, 45 minutes. And as you can see, they're completely roasted. So what we're gonna do is in our container like this, we're gonna put all of them. And then, put the lid on. If you don't have a lid, just put some clean lid and leave it to cool down out of the fridge. Leave it to cool down so they are sweating and developing all the flavors, okay? Whatever the juices that you have, just keep it. We're gonna use it in the marinade later on. So our peppers are cooling down in there. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna confit some garlic. So for this, I'm just gonna take the garlic in the skin. As you can see, it's in the skin, okay? So it's gonna take about, for that quantity, like five, six garlic cloves, yeah? And then I'm gonna put in, in a pan about 60 milliliters of the extra virgin olive oil and I'm gonna put this garlic inside and on a low temperature, I'm gonna be simmering, very low temperature simmering for about 40 minutes. And after that, I will leave it to cool down. So all these we're gonna use after that into the marinade. So the peppers has cooled down. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna peel them. As you can see, just, just using your fingers, just remove the skin. And remove the seeds. So this top, we don't need it. Yeah, and any seeds of inside and then just reserve as we're gonna cut it in julienne later on to dress up well at this point what i've done is i chopped some onions like i cook i, I cut it in julienne half julienne let's say so it's small bits yeah and I'm gonna put these onions into the peppers and I'm gonna mix it. And after that, I'm gonna add the confit garlic, the oil, the, the sherry vinegar, and the salt. Well, so I put the, the oil where I confit the garlic. I didn't put all of it. I put just whatever I felt that I needed. I put some, I put the, the confited garlic, I put salt, and I put the sherry vinegar and I mix it. 
and at this stage you can keep it in the fridge it's ready it's ready to go okay traditionally in spain or where i'm from we serve it with a we take in the summertime a whole mackerel we put in the barbecue and it can it, it gets that burnt skin around developing all the flavors inside and it's beautiful and then we put this purpose as a bed and then we put the mackerel on the top for example or we use it as a garnish or for any any other fish you can have some tuna you can put some boiled eggs you can put whatever it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing i hope that you have enjoyed it